Uh, James, is it two ends that lay you down, both boxes? I totally agree. Um, with regards to it, we had some build up play which was we worked on and we looked better at it but ultimately we've not been good enough in both boxes not punch enough in there not not acceptable what we're trying to do and then we can talk about tactics and shapes and formations but you can't legislate for individual errors you can't legislate for it and it's a massive frustration for me at the minute should your defense be more alert for their first goal the first goal is just another example of what we've been doing just another example of the goals we conceded just that middle of the pitch where it's kind of that routine kick that we should be dealing with. We've dealt with it for 44 minutes, played some decent football, all right, not not really gotten their goal enough. But we, we, to be one 0 down at half time is harsh. But we conceded a poor goal. And the second half penalty. I don't suppose you got any complaints, but Lindley just showed his inexperience there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He did, and he recognises that. And it's it's we're chasing it. Whether we recover back quick enough or not, I need to look back at it. But then. He's running away from goal. Aiden doesn't need to, to slide in. He knows that, um, and we just got to show him excited. But still, then we didn't create enough after that. We had the ball a lot. We didn't. We didn't create wrong. And um, what do you put it down to? Because we were saying at half, uh, going into the uh, end of the first half, if it's nil nil at half time, you're quite happy because you're playing well. They're quite happy because they're defending well, and then it all changes. And it all changes, and we, we don't. I, I just can't put my finger on it. We're conceding really sloppy goals. We're not good enough in both boxes right now. You couldn't say you, your strikers missed too many chances. It was the final ball often wasn't getting them, was it? We just didn't put enough crosses in the box. We didn't supply them enough today. Um, and we, we've, got, we've got to do that a lot better. Three defeats on the bounce now. Mm. How do you keep going? I've got two little girls at home that I need to provide for. So that's my motivation. Are you concerned? I mean... Um, uh, concerned for... What, three defeats on the bat? Yeah, I don't, I don't lose three games on the spin. Um, nobody does, but it's part and parcel of the game that we've got to bounce back from. Is it more awkward because there, there are good signs in every game that are more difficult for you to put right in some ways? Yeah, don't, don't get me wrong, the Grimsby game wasn't great. Um, and we defended resiliently at times at, at Stevenage, but obviously that one ball again that we can see uh, the goal from. And, and then, then you look at it with, with today's today's performance was better in phases, but it wasn't completely amazing at times because we didn't we didn't create enough chances. Is it worse when you lose at home in front of these people? Because you can sense the frustrations. Yeah, I, I sense the frustrations. I'm just as frustrated as them. I am. I really am. What happens this week now then? We play Forest Green Tuesday. We play Carlisle then on, on Saturday, and we need performances and we need results. It's too early to panic, isn't it? I mean, you're not at the right end of the table, but I suppose your ultimate goal is getting further away at the moment. Yeah, we, we've, we've got to produce more than what we're producing at the minute. I, I looked at different things from last season and league tables. I think Bristol Rovers were they were on point at this stage, and then I look at where um, uh, Exeter were at one point. I look at where Mansfield were at one point. So. There's still optimism, there's still light at the end of the tunnel. We've got to keep believing, we've just got to put things right. All the best. Thank you. Yeah, frustration, um, is that compounded by you having to say the same things every, every week? They're not really learning from mistakes, is that fair? Um, well, we're not learning from mistakes because you can see it with the goals we're conceding. So it's not through a lack of effort. I, I won't say that about my players. It's not through a lack of effort, it's not through a lack of try. It's, it's, it's schoolboy defending at times. What can you do about that? <laughs> got to keep practicing it, got to keep working on it. You can keep changing systems, you keep changing personnel, but I can't legislate for individual errors. And it's 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 a lonely place in that dugout when, when it's not going our way. So I'm responsible for it. It's 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 the team that I put together, it's the team that I've selected, it's the tactics we put in. But individually, at times we need to be better.